What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I'm going to be speed running through a launch silo to see how fast I can actually launch a nuke. The reason why I'm doing this is because for one, I was seeing that a lot of players were unsure on how to even get through a silo to be able to officially launch a nuke. And also for two, I hope this could maybe get more people involved on actually nuking in Fallout 76 because after all, this is the end game content. This is where all the good stuff comes from, launching nukes in certain areas like the Scorch Beast Queen and White Springs. I will mention before I even enter into the silo, I do have the shortcut perk cards on that we need to bypass through the place faster, which we need a level 3 lock picking skill and a level 3 hacking skill. I also already have mainframe cores repaired on me, so I can just place it right into the system to get past that part a little faster. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see how fast my first speed run attempt goes. Okay, so the run officially starts. Now I'm able to use my Stealth Boy and my Medex. I feel like that's fair in a speed run. If I am using something that's going to boost me, I should be using it when the time actually starts and not beforehand, before I even come down here. Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this ID card. Yes, it's actually there. I'm gonna turn around and go over to the scanner down this way. I'm just gonna be skipping all of these enemies pretty much, not wasting any time or any bullets because of the shortcut perk card setup that I have on. I don't deal out as much damage, so in the end I'd just be wasting more ammo and time trying to deal with them. So now since I'm out of the scanner, I'm gonna go ahead and rush to erase this ID card and then fabricate it. Luckily, I did find it right off the bat. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes the card can be kind of time consuming to find, so I'm kind of off to a good start. All right, sweet, got that task out of the way. I got it fabricated. Now I gotta go over into this room to swipe the ID so I can bypass this laser security system to get further into the silo. Honestly, doing it solo is easier, in my opinion, because the more people that are down here, the more enemies we have to take on, and there are loads of enemies that end up spawning down here if you have more players. This is actually where I'm going to want to... Oh, I don't got it on me! Oh, this is slowing down time majorly. Go, 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 go! Well... This part right here definitely gives you guys an advantage to beat me. <laughs> if you are attempting to beat my speedrun here. I'm going to be doing more. This is just the first one. No. Go, 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 go. Ah! The pressure. I feel it. What the? No! Ah, oh, great. Sheesh. Alright, so yeah, this is the shortcut that I was talking about that you need those shortcut perk cards, which you're going to have to have a level 3 pick locking skill and a level 3 hacking skill, but this will actually save you tons of time because it bypasses the whole reactor room. And that does waste a lot of time having to repair all of those pipes and take on the waves of enemies. Especially, as some of us may know, sometimes bugs happen too at that part to majorly slow down our progress. Why? I'm not even going to ask. Okay, so now I'm at the part where we have to destroy all these mainframe cores to bypass the laser security systems. And this can be time consuming as well if you don't have explosives. I prefer to just toss some grenades at each computer that has the mainframes on them. But I don't really have that much grenades on me at the moment. I only have some pumpkin grenades. But I guess it'll do. At least I got 10 of them. If not, I still have my explosive weapons that I can use. I mean, you can technically just rip these off the system by going up to them and pressing the action button to just take them off individually, one by one, but that would definitely slow down a lot of time, so I'm not going to be doing that. We'll see what my ending time is, though. 
I feel like at the moment, to be honest, I'm not doing this as fast as I could. My goal out of making this is just to get more players in the silos launching nukes. Because I have seen a lot of players confused on what you're even supposed to do in the launch silo. Hopefully by making this speed run, it helps clear up a little bit. And if not, you can just always replay the video and study it a little because I am trying to get through this as fast as I can. And once again, the very good common armor to look out for to go through these silos easily is the Troubleshooter's armor set. Sure, there may be some better armor sets out there, but that armor set does the job getting through this. I used to use that all of the time. I just don't have the full set anymore like I used to. But yeah, I made sure I pocketed that armor set and everything. It was nice. Either way, hopefully the time I get, it's decent and a little bit challenging. So far, I feel like this has been a solid speedrun. I might have just jinxed myself, though. Ah, great, I'm out of grenades. wonder how this will do. Ah, gosh, this is wasting some time here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my explosive rifle. I just didn't want to do this because it just wastes the durability of the weapon majorly. Just shooting blanks at mainframe cores. I guess I'm not really wasting because I am still taking out the mainframe cores and saving time in the process to bypass this laser security system here. Really? Okay, go. Okay, so for this next part coming up, we can either choose to repair the damaged mainframe cores, or we can look for the already repaired mainframe cores around in this area. If you just choose to repair the damaged mainframe cores, that's going to save you a lot of time. And the Tinker's workbench to be able to repair are actually in this same vicinity, so it works out. You're going to need a total of 30 circuits and 45 steel to repair all 15 damaged mainframe cores. They require two circuits and three steel each. And as you can see, there is plenty around that will be attacking you when you enter into this area where you have to put the repaired mainframe cores into the system. And not to mention, plenty of enemies will spawn here as well. So yeah, obviously, definitely come prepared in the nuke silo. It is supposed to be in-game content after all to launch a nuke. Uh-oh. What's, what's happening here? It's not starting to lag now, is it? I got here within seven minutes. Uh, it's a waste of time to turn around to fight them. Come on. It's lagging. Or something. I don't know. Okay. This is a bug. Well, this sucks for a speed run. Okay, collect them. No? Maybe? Really? You gotta be kidding me. Well, this is a lot of fun. I would love to remove and place. Oh, here they go. Sheesh. Maybe it's just this server, I guess. I don't know. I have a wired connection at the moment. What the flux? That came out of nowhere. Well, this is definitely slowing down a lot of time. Dang it. I don't want to cut any of this though, because then that kind of ruins the points of the speed run. So hopefully this doesn't last too much longer. Sheesh. This blows. This seriously blows. Like I'm in the middle of trying to do a speed run to kind of demonstrate how fast you can get through the nuke silo. 
I mean, of course, you know, there's going to be people that are going to beat my time, especially now. Wow. Once again, I'm going to do this again in the future sometime to try to beat my time, which should be easy. Hopefully this little bug that's happening here will be patched out of Fallout 76. If not, I'll just continue to work around it. It happens every now and then. It doesn't happen every time. But y'all saw that, right? The mainframe cores just randomly started to be placed, and now I can't again. This is one major lag spike. I would love to know if this also happens to you all. This sucks. I mean, if you want, feel free to jot down all of the bugs that you may encounter in a nuke silo. I would love to know what you guys experience too that also slows you down. This is a big waste of time. Oh, wait, what's this? Progress? Nice! Those last two seem to go in smooth. I wish that was the case for all of them. I don't typically complain, but while trying to do a speed run, that, that was annoying. Not gonna lie. <sighs> okay. Well, coming up to the final part. I don't need to destroy that. What am I doing? I still have those shortcut perk cards on that make my damage output a little weaker. I don't actually feel like stopping and taking the time to change all of them, so I'm just gonna be rocking this. I think I'll be alright. Typically, when going through a silo solo, there isn't really that many robots to deal with. Which is always nice, especially if you're trying to do a speed run. Oh no. What am I doing? Target the limb. Target the legs. Son of a biscuit, another one? I should just immediately initiate that prep launch to start that. Because that's going to take some time. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay. Get this started. A little late on getting that started. But that's alright, at least the time has started now. Let's get these cheats rolling. Nice. Typically technical data in these file cabinets. Not seeing any though.
Oh, no, you don't. Really? Wow! Get back up, buddy. Let's speed up this process. Let's speed up this process. Come on, guys. Get back up. I typically don't lose any chiefs. I guess because I'm kind of rushing more than usual here. Oh my, that's a lot of enemies. Is someone else in this silo with me? What the heck? Oh, oh, uh, oh, of course there is. Oh, okay, great. Oh, man. So that's the reason why this has been feeling a little bit more difficult than usual. There were other players in the silo, which spawns more enemies. It's actually easier to do this, once again, in my opinion, solo, because less enemies spawn. I was wondering, at least we're nearing the end, so doesn't really matter now if they're in here all right so boom it just officially ended i just completed the event and i am officially able to launch the nuke now the only reason why i got the time that i did is because of that major lag spike and a few mishaps here and there i definitely know i could do better than this time but i just decided i'd do this just for some fun maybe chain react more as a community to get involved nuking around in fall 76 because that is the end game experience that's where a lot of the good stuff comes from but yeah, I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening, and hopefully you found this enjoyable. Until next time, peace.